God. <laughs> and oh my gosh. Dude, 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 why? Oh, why am I so good with this deck? All right. And we haven't even activated this yet. Like, what in the world? What in the freaking world? <laughs> I'm literally giddy playing this deck again. It's time. Yeah, you guys, it is finally time. I finally have all the cards here. I finally decided on a deck that I wanted to build. I finally decided on something that was crazy enough and worthy enough that I felt worthy enough to show off and to take Cyber Dragons to the next level. I made this deck go first. I, I mean, I'm just good. I made it combo. I made it combo. Uh, we, we go into Boral Savage in this deck. We go into Dragite in this deck. We go into Skull Dread in this deck. We go into just uh, all the good monsters that negate things during your opponent's turn. So as most of you know, Cyber Dragons are my main deck that I have been playing for many, many, many years in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pretty much the entirety of the time I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I didn't play Cyber Dragons when I was a kid, but um, pretty much from the time that Cyber Dragon Structure Deck first came out, the Cybernetica Revolution Structure Deck came out on, um, I've been playing Cyber Dragons. Um, I fell in love with that Structure Deck, and I've been playing him ever since. Um, I even got us some Cyber Dragon support. Uh, yeah, that was all me. I have, uh, you know, a lot of old videos about that. But I'm so excited to finally show you guys this deck. Um, I wanted to build the crazy a cyber dragon deck I could and I didn't want to build anything again in real life that wasn't worthy of just showing off and being like this is what I want to play this this is it this is the next level of the deck or this is what the deck does now um, I think this is that version of the deck um, I wanted to make the deck go first without playing artifacts and stuff like that um, I wanted to not play any hand traps I wanted to make a crazy combo deck I found out the easiest way to do that was with the link cross combo because you end up with like these level three tuners with like Tatsunuko and Marcher and you always have these level fives left in your hand and on the field and stuff so you just end with really strong level eight synchros and infinity and all that stuff um, and you do it very consistently um, actually extremely consistently I'm gonna be showing you all of those test hands I'm gonna be showing you like a hundred test hands with this deck I'm not playing with you but first Let's show it off. All right, you guys, I have these cards arranged in the order that I want to explain them in. Um, so let's start off with the core Cyber Dragon engine, a uh, pun intended. <laughs> so the Cyber Dragon core, I count as these 11 monsters, okay? I don't play Nashter. Nashter limits you to machines, um, and uh, we can't have that because uh, Boral Savage, you know, is not a machine and stuff. So um, you don't want to limit yourself to just machines. Nashter, great card. Veer, great card. Uh, but um, I don't play them in this deck. This is a combo version of the deck. Um, to wrap up the Cyber Dragon engine, three emergency to search your cores, uh, three machine uh, duplication to combo off your cores and your hurts, um, one repair plant's the perfect number, search it off of core, you know, and you search core off of emergency like I was just explaining, rev system because it's a uh, monster reborn that you can search, and then I play one monster reborn and I include a monster reborn with the uh, cyber dragon engine as well just because um, it makes uh, making genius easier. Um, if you don't open your tuner like a quick draw synchron or a satellite synchron that I'm about to show you, um, you can search um, quick draw synchron off of genius with machine duplication so and making genius is easier with monster reborn i include galaxy soldier as part of the cyber dragon engine just as much as i you know include machine duplication because a uh, galaxy soldier is searchable off of repair plant and it's the best extender it pluses it searches another copy of itself you know uh it's it's really 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 good um it's a level five it's a light um it can only pitch lights which uh, makes your options you know to discard your discard options mainly lights but um your cyber dragons are lights and and you just play cards that are light that you want to discard. You, you see what I mean? But uh, three quick draw synchron. This is the main tuner. It's a level five machine. You can make uh, Nova with it. The other tuner I play is satellite synchron. Um, these are the only six tuners I play. Um, you can, you know, summon this off of, uh, you know, a needle fiber, um, all that stuff. But you search uh, all six of these off of tuning. So uh, tuning adds any one of these to your hand and then mills a card. So essentially you're playing nine tuners, uh, the three search cards to get these, um, you know, uh, 
quick draw synchron it discards any monster from your hand special summons itself there's your tuner you want to discard this for example there's other cards i'm about to show you that you want to discard the special summon themselves and stuff and then a uh, satellite synchron it says when a monster is special summoned from your graveyard you can special summon it from your hand so i don't know summoning a cyber dragon off of nova summoning uh you know satellite synchron back off of marcher summoning another one from your hand we're playing some before mages in here we're playing uh, i don't know we're playing stuff the special summons from the graveyard there's a lot of different ways to special summon from the graveyard in this deck so this comes out a lot i mean if you don't draw this you draw this and if you don't search this you search this i'll be showing off all that in the combos though here shortly let's keep moving on here um symphonic warrior guitar and one mics i play the symphonic warrior engine uh this gives you an extra normal summon and that will unbrick you and if you uh you know <laughs> if you uh let's say make a skull dread and you haven't normal summoned yet or you haven't used that second normal summon yet and you use that skull dread to dig into your emergency or to your core finally and you know what i'm saying you can use the second normal summon finally normal summon core um search repair plans get galaxy soldier or whatever and it can keep going i really 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 like the symphonic warrior engine yeah it sucks sure if you draw both of these but that's if you're bad and draw both of them i don't <laughs> i don't know um i mean for as far as a discard engine goes i mean the the tuning and, and quick draw is where it's at, you know what I'm saying? But this does add that extra to the deck. It's nice being able to summon from deck. The second normal summon does come in handy a lot. It is it is very nice. This is a level five machine that you can go into Nova with. So um, I, I like this card. <laughs> like I like this engine. Play whatever you want though. It's not like we have brilliant fusion around anymore to give you a level five that gives you another normal summon. So we have this level five that gives you another normal summon. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm playing instead. And that's actually all for the machine monsters. All of these are the machine monsters in the deck. Um, we got some spellcasters next. Um, I play perform mages. I think that this is the perfect ratio, just one and one and a foolish, because uh, these guys get clunky. You really uh, just use this for needle fiber material, and you know what I mean. Like you don't, you don't really you leave this on the board and use it for synchro material. You can use like um, I don't know, marcher plus this plus like a level one, you know what I mean, or a link cross token to go into a level eight synchro. Uh, it's something I have done before, but you really use this as just fodder to go into um, needle fiber with, or with other hands depending on the hand and stuff you'll end with just this as an extra monster on the board with negates and you know some cards in hand or something it just depends you know on how your hands play out but then i play a uh, two mandrakes and a light stage so here's the thing mandrake is once per turn it's a hard once per turn but light stage isn't <laughs> um i make platies a lot in this deck i use uh platies to make like some really techy like cool plays i'll bounce this back to my hand just to have it an extra monster for next turn because it's otherwise it's useless especially if you have this up like if you've already made dorindle and have both of these up you know what i'm saying you can bounce this your hand and like have like an extra monster yeah you'll end with like Pleiades, Durindle, you know what I mean or like in like a level 8 synchro like a savage or something this, this deck's ridiculous I'm about to show you all you know all the combos and stuff but what I was saying is that you bounce uh, light stage even though this is once per turn this isn't so you bounce light stage with Pleiades, activate uh, light stage again search another mandrake so uh, I like two mandrake because of that um, now one card that's just like mandrake and this is my spicy tech in the, in the deck a uh, light serpent um, so it's the same effect as Mandrake, but this isn't once per turn, all right? So there are times where I'll bounce this with Pallades and then immediately use it with Quick Draw to summon, you know, Quick Draw out, you know what I'm saying? If I don't have um, an extra monster that's just gonna, you know, special summon itself or yield me advantage for discarding it off of Quick Draw. Um, so this is my spicy tech. I, uh, I was playing uh, Terraforming. Uh, to search light stage to get this. Uh, I like this better. I don't like drawing uh, terraforming and light stage and stuff. I think that this is perfect. I think one foolish for these is perfect because once again, these guys are kind of clunky. You use these, uh, you know, to pitch off quick draw synchron or off of symphonic warriors and, and, and that's it. That's all you, you use them for. Uh, same with these. You want to, you know, pitch these off of your discard, uh, discard effect monsters, make a uh, uh, needle fiber, keep going, um, you know, or you want to search out um, hurts, you know, which is a card that you want to discard which is a searchable card that you want to discard uh search cyber dragon keep going uh you, have, you know search cyber dragon so you have a level five in your hand for tatsunuko make a level eight synchro so yeah this is the whole deck i arranged the cards this way because it's you know easiest to talk about them this way you have the cyber dragon package the synchron package and then your symphonic warrior package along with all the cards that you want to discard I call it uh, Symphonic Synchron Cyber Dragons, <laughs> like, or I just call it Cyber Dragons for short. This is how I made the deck. This is how I made it work. I turned it into a crazy synchro combo deck playing some old cards and some random cool stuff that I found. 
All right, let's move on to the extra deck. <laughs> and I'm playing some cool tokens too. I love this deck. All right, guys, now for the extra deck. Uh, this has changed a lot since the last picture I showed you because I cut Zulkin and I cut Crystal Wing. Yeah, <laughs> and I cut uh, Instant Fusion from the main deck, so there's no use for Theseus in the extra deck anymore. Um, those cards were just kind of additional, you know, making Zulkin and Crystal Wing is cute and all, and then, you know, you use the, the Zulkin to try to make Skull Dread and keep going after because it's just kind of sitting there after you make Crystal Wing. It's cool, it's cute, you know, you're playing Quick Draw Synchron, so you want to play a Zulkin, but for consistency, guys, there's still too many hands that, like, Almirage fixed. And, um, yeah, I was trying to circumvent playing Almirage altogether and stuff, circumvent a lot of you know some things that um, cyber dragons are known for playing and stuff but sometimes the like, things are staples for a reason and um, putting out Mirage and, and stuff back in the deck uh, it made the deck so consistent I was able to free up room and uh, add a Durindle in here Durindle will give you an extra negate and it's an unbreaking card because you can shuffle back your own hand and uh, fix your hands and stuff so yeah uh, let's get to it though I'm um, skull dread so speaking of um, fixing hands Skull Dread will, um, you know, let you draw four cards, uh, put back three. And it also gives you an extra special summon. So uh, this card, I, I like a lot. You can play, uh, you know, a Boral Load here and stuff. I, I really like uh, comboing. I really like fixing hands. Skull Dread is just too good to cut. Uh, Needle Fiber, um, this enables your combo with Link Cross and all that. You know, special summons, another uh, Satellite Synchron from deck. Then you use uh, Needle Fiber, you know, make Link Cross, summon your two tokens. Get, uh, you know, you get it. You make Marcher, you know the combo. Uh, you'll see the combo about a hundred times here in a little bit. So so uh, Link Cross Combo, uh, Needle Fiber, Almirage, I was just talking about a second ago because there's still too many hands where like even like I will use like my second normal summoned uh, monster, <laughs> you know what I mean, with and, 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 and with an Almirage, uh, and second normal summoned monster because once again Symphonic Warriors and stuff, there's a lot of nutty hands, um, Almirage helps make better, helps fix, um, yeah, and plus uh, its effect is not bad either, its protection effect is not bad. Um, Cleefort Genius is so good, <laughs> it's so good um, going for or a second going first you use its effect with machine duplication to search your tuner if you haven't um, or you know if you don't have a tuner um, so it adds extra consistency to the, to the deck with a machine duplication and going second it turns off your opponent's monster and, uh, and it, you can't be affected or whatever it's really 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 good uh, Clee Fort Genius might be my favorite card in the extra deck it's one of them it's, that extra, no Pleiades is my favorite card in the extra deck I think but um, no 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 but god this deck's so good <laughs> but genius yeah it, it's it's genius to play genius you know what I'm saying um, and then uh, yeah so that's just five. I play five synchro monsters. So to explain this, <laughs> um, so here's your level eight synchros, your boss monsters, right? Um, if you have a water in your graveyard, you can negate your opponent's stuff. Um, this will, you know, equip um, a, a link monster to it and give you Boral counters, which will help you negate your opponent's stuff. Um, with uh, between uh, Needle Fiber and Tatsunuko, you will have a water in your grave for Dragite. And uh, Boral Savage um, helps make uh, Durindle more consistent and stuff because it'll equip, you know, equips a monster, you know, it's an equip spell, you know, it's like down here, and a uh, Durindle can, like, you know, negate something if you have something uh, for your opponent to target instead of, like, their effect actually resolving uh, if you read Durindle. So, um, it comes in handy, like, <laughs> Boral Savage is really great. And if the Needle Fiber that's, like, you know, equipped to this gets destroyed, you still have your Boral uh, counters on here. So, yeah, really, really good stuff. Um, Marcher, for the Marcher combo that you guys will see, you know, and have seen a hundred times already. Nuko, so you can Synchro Summon from your hand and have a water in your graveyard. <laughs> Tatsu Nuko makes the deck. Tatsunuko made this deck and makes this deck. It really, really, really does. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, just straight up, and you're gonna see it in the combos over and over and over and over again. Uh, these guys wouldn't be nearly as possible without this guy. Uh, this really enables hands. Um, and then to help make hands even better and a plus even harder librarian, uh, th the reason why is because there's so many times I found myself ending with like, uh, I found myself, sorry, starting with a marcher on the board and I'd have like a core. And I'm like, you know what? I can make Librarian. Use the, you know, the leftover satellite uh, Synchron and um, token to make Nuko after making Librarian draw a card. And then Synchro Summon again using Nuko and, you know, a monster from my hand draw a second card. So no matter what, guys, you're always drawing bare minimum of two cards off of Librarian. Um, and then you use Librarian after you've drawn cards, after you Synchro Summon, you just uh, use it to make Durindle after. Good stuff. <laughs> so uh, I guess to explain this, uh, it'll be like here's like you know your link monsters. There's your boss monsters. Here's your little guys to get to you know your your big uh, boss synchro monsters. And then um, Nova because you know you detach special summon and then also uh, slap an infinity on this uh, to have an extra negate. It's yeah Nova is 
I love this card so much. I mean, I will like, you know, make this to like make room and then just like let it sit there, you know what I mean? And like do my do my uh, link cross combo shenanigans and then like, you know, detach later, summon and then end with another rank five, slap an infinity on. Yeah, Nova is great, um, but Pleiades um, has so much utility to it. Um, you bounce, like I was explaining earlier, you bounce your own light stage, you bounce your own guitar, uh, bounce like your own anything, bounce your own core to your hand to have a core, in, you know, ready for next turn and stuff. Uh, I'll end like that sometimes. Like, uh, Pleiades is just nutty. Uh, Pleiades will fix hands and makes room. Um, it's my favorite card in the extra deck and has been for a really long time and since I'm citing kaijus um, You can you know kaiju your opponent and then play these the kaiju back to your hand and then kaiju them again <laughs> You know, Pleiades just has so much, um, you know, adds so much consistency to the deck and uh, has so much utility with the deck. I really like Pleiades. It's been one of my favorites for a long time. Um, Artifact Durindle, because, you know, once again, it gives you an extra negate. It's a rank 5 that you can make with um, a Librarian because a Pleiades requires um, two lights and a Nova requires two machines. A librarian is neither of those. Um, so you uh, just make Durindle with it. Although, one thing I forgot to mention with Librarian, um, it says if a monster is synchro summoned, draw one card. That's the first line of its text. It doesn't say when you synchro summon. It says when a monster is synchro summoned. So one more note about Librarian is that you won't use it to make Durindle if they're playing a synchro deck. Just leave the Librarian up and you essentially max see them and draw 100 cards. <laughs> so I really like Librarian. Librarian's very, very, very good. Um, I mean, and you make it a lot more. I mean, I make it like pretty much every hand. I will show you. It's it's, it's freaking great. Um, and then uh, the last monster of the extra deck, Mega Fleet, because uh, going second, this gives you a machine to make, uh, you know, genius with, and then you normal summon core, you know, machine dupe, get a search, and just you go, you just go. Um, yeah, uh, Mega Fleet, uh, this is the going second card. I mean, if you really want to like be super edgy, if you end with a dread and like an extra cyber dragon on board, you can like use your dread your cyber dragon to like make this so your opponent doesn't get this zone off of dread <laughs> you know what i'm saying so you can use this first turn if you want you know if you're going first but like i, I never do this is the going second card right here the first thing you do is summon a cyber dragon and then their extra deck monster and like you make a machine and then i don't know freaking summon another machine make genius machine do search i don't know I, I don't it depends on the hand once again uh, but we'll get to test hands in just a second um let's sh show off the side deck and uh I'm, i'll show you like 500 test hands so for the side deck i wanted to play cards that have a lot of synergy with the main deck that could be searched by the main deck etc so of course that led me to kaijus because you could search jizakiru and then uh, you have that utility with Pleiades. you can uh, kaiju your opponent bounce it back kaiju them again and then you know uh, chimera tecker you know <laughs> whatever um so like uh I mean, I've been doing that move for uh, how long? I, I might have invented that move. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, because I was doing that right when the Kaijus came out, I was like so excited. I was like, you know, you can just play these and just do it again. <laughs> I've been doing, I've been showing that move in Cyber, uh, Cyber Dragon deck profiles for freaking years. But um, I played just eight uh, Kaijus. Uh, you want to draw this, blow up the board, you know, summon these two, just go. Um, and I guess like to, to wrap up the 10 like removal monsters or whatever I play. Um, so I side the Fortress Dragon to work with Jizuki. Kiru. Um, there's no room in the main for it uh, because this is a combo deck. Uh, I, I will show you. I will show you in the combos. Like, I got the extra deck perfect i have the extra deck perfect there's no room in the extra deck for fortress dragon you have to you have to side it and that's fine um Eltonen, um i use because this is searchable and uh it, it, it sends sorry it doesn't banish it sends the whole board so if they have a m bunch of monsters by chance that you know can't be uh um, you know, just destroyed by card effects, or they have effects that trigger when they're destroyed by card effects. This doesn't destroy, it sends them all to the graveyard. So uh, that comes in handy. I just play one of it just because I really freaking like this card. It's just a cool card. It could be a third game of seal too because I like game of seal, but like this, I'm just going with this. Um, you know, it has synergy with the deck. Uh, overflow because you can search it. It's, you know, destruct searchable destruction for the deck. And then right here is where, like, I don't know, something like Lightning Storm would come in handy, but I don't own Lightning Storms. So, you know, otherwise, this could be it could be lightning storm because it, it, it would give you like a raigeki or a, you know a heavy storm but um once again i don't have them so i'm just playing here's your monster destruction spell trap destruction got feather duster back at one might as well play it monster removal spell trap removal so if they are playing some stupid shit like mystic mind just wreck them <laughs> um and then if they're uh playing some stupid shit uh, and you're going seconds 
just blow them up. Um, I mean, you Chimera, that's what I like about Cyber Dragons is that it can go first or second. This deck can still go first or second. I just made it go first better. And then I cited some going second cards that the deck normally mains. Like, um, Jizukiru, um, people will main deck in Cyber Dragons because it's searchable. It's a really good card. This card's great. Like, it has absolute synergy with the deck. Um, but you're not always going to lose the die roll and the deck can go first you know I made I figured it out <laughs> and then the last uh, two cards in the deck uh, these are tokens that I got from fan mail years ago and I've never played them in cyber dragons because I never had a cyber dragon deck that made tokens but since this plays uh, needle fiber and link cross I make tokens and these are the perfect tokens for the deck. <laughs> They're so freaking cool. Ah, but for the combos, uh, this mat will not do. No, this mat will not do for the combos. Let's, uh, yeah, one second. Which one do we want? Oh, no, I'm not even going to play. I know which one we want. Right here. Yeah, there we go. Much better. <laughs> now, this is a Cyber Dragon deck profile. If I do say so myself, the Cyber Dragon God is back! Pendulum God doesn't have a chance. Cyber Dragon best deck, pin worst deck. I mean, seriously, man. The guy, what, he was evenly matched with me in a, in a, in a video we did, and uh, I wasn't even powered up. Like, uh, pin God is not that strong. Watch, I'm gonna open up perfectly. First try. I probably should have shuffled more, but I have such confidence. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so with this hand, we're gonna normal summon Cyber Dragon Core, activate Cyber Dragon Core's effect, and get Emergency. Activate Emergency, and then get Hurt. So it's really nice being able to search your card that you want to discard, am I right? <laughs> so uh, now with this, uh, you can go ahead and just, uh, yeah, summon Hurt's effect, add Cyber Dragon. Uh, you can also go ahead and, yeah, Machine Duplication. Machine Duplication, summon uh, two Cyber Dragons out from the deck. You guys are gonna be like, oh, your zone placement. You zone placement I don't care that's not like there's somebody here that I'm playing with right now but um, I will say um, I always summon a cyber dragon core um, to the uh, second zone um, out of habit so that you can always get it uh, you know get um, geniuses effect if you uh, machine dupe but um, with with this uh, with this hand uh, we're gonna do it this way um, yeah let's go Nova oh, where's my extra deck there's my extra deck yeah I mean, I'm just gonna kind of muscle memory through this because I've been testing these hands a lot. Um, and so with this, um, you can go ahead and activate uh, Satellite Synchron's effect if you want to, but uh, we're gonna have to have room because of the, uh, you know, uh, Link Cross combo. So uh, from here, you can go ahead and slap an Infinity on top of this. Once you've used this effect, immediately after you've used this effect, no matter, you know, if, like, if you have to like, there's times where you have to like leave the Nova on the, on the board and not use its effect yet so that you have room for everything. But um, in this case, we, we were not doing it that way. So um, if we've already activated its effect, immediately slap an Infinity on like, right after so that you can negate any sort of disruption you want your um, needle fiber to go off you want your uh, skull dread to go off stuff like that so um anyway and with this hand um I, I feel like showing off so we're gonna make a, a hyper librarian use these two activate needle fibers effect summon another satellite synchron all right now you guys know this combo link cross link cross effect here's your tokens all right now, use these two, and that'll summon, I was like, where's my extra deck at? <laughs> summon Marcher. So here's where we're at, okay? Got five monsters on board. All right, now you see why I didn't use this effect, well, you know, when I summoned off of Nova, it's because you needed the room, all right? I mean, there are times, though, where, like, you won't draw another tuner, you'll force the special summon effect, you know, after normal summoning this or something, you get it. Um, and then, like, special summon that, then you have your tuner go into Needle Fiber Link Cross combo. Happens all the time. Matter of fact, um, you can go ahead and Repair Plant at this point. Uh, I guess we'll search for, uh, yeah, search for Galaxy Soldier. Um, I hadn't, we've already searched for Hurt, so it'd be, uh, it'd be Galaxy Soldier. So, um, now from here, I mean, we're gonna want to shuffle up really good because we're about to draw. Uh, use these two. Go into Librarian because I like to go into Librarian. Um, I like to draw more. There's another way you can end here, but um, I like to show off the deck. I want to show off the deck, so <laughs> we're gonna go into Librarian and uh, I'm gonna shuffle up really good right now. Shuffle up over here so you guys don't think I'm like rigging the hand or something like that. And then cut it. Hey, that ended up on bottom though. <laughs> nice. Um, so not, don't draw yet, but uh, use these two. And then here's Nuko. 
I guess like technically you shouldn't summon that there. It, it doesn't matter. Once again, like placement doesn't really matter. It's just a demonstration purposes. Um, so librarian effect. Nuko, draw a card. So once again, like I was explaining earlier, you will always draw at least two off of Hyper Librarian. One off the Nuko, and then when you Nuko and like, let's this, just this say use this level five right now, which I'm not going to, um, but uh, you would draw another card. But so uh, speaking of level fives, pitch this level five. Search another Galaxy Soldier. Then use these two. Go into Savage, right? Draw a card. Nice. <laughs> uh, savage effect quit and then now from here um, you can end with um, Durindle yeah like I was just uh, showing and what I was starting to do out of habit normally you'll go uh, go into Durindle you usually don't draw Monster Reborn because it's a one of you know what I mean but since we drew Monster Reborn already had a Galaxy Soldier on field Monster Reborn the Nuko or the Marcher back out uh, make a uh, Dragite and you know you got a Water in the Grave Librarian draw another card and like uh, I mean, I mean, I just drew lit. <laughs> like, I mean, I just drew machine dupe for next turn and stuff. And like, ah, that was the perfect first test hand for the, the, the show for this. So yeah, obviously I got lucky with the the rips off of Librarian there. But that's kind of the point of playing Librarian is that you're gonna draw cards and see more cards, different cards than what you've already saw. You know, in that turn, and you, you're gonna you're gonna try to you know capitalize on that. I love playing Librarian. I love seeing like what I get because there's times where like. I'll rip, I'm like, if I rip into a machine dupe right now off a of librarian, I, and I'll rip into a machine dupe like I just did, and it's just like, let's go, let's go. Uh, so let's play another test hand. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously your opponent can have uh, different disruptions during these turns. Yada, 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 you know, what, what, what if they, you know, stop their needle fiber or whatever. Well, obviously there's not someone else sitting across from me right now for me to like, you know, play through or just, you know, ignore and just use my powers on their hand traps. Like, you think somebody can hand trap me? You think someone can Ash Blossom Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus? Just a fucking joke, anyways. All right, so for the next hand, let's shuffle up a random number of times. Um, you can uh, force the uh, same cards to your hand that you just played if you uh, shuffle the same number of times and then cut the same way every time. If you've noticed, like if you've ever been playing test hands by yourself and you keep seeing the same cards, like man, I keep drawing this monster of born or whatever, it's because you're shuffling the same way. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> or if like you know you keep playing a certain player and they're like, man, I always open up this card against you. It's because you always uh, shuffle a certain way after playing cards a certain way, and then your opponent cuts you know your deck that uh, you know the way that they always cut it, and then you draw the same cards. So um, yeah, that's something I've learned. That that I can do in Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's not try to, you know, do that, um, you know, for the camera right now because that's technically, like, cheating, you know, because we're trying to show off the deck and what it does and show that it can be consistent or whatever. So we're not, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> and we'll shuffle, like, uh, way less and, you know, once again, shuffle, like, different number of times. Make sure to shuffle a different number of times so you force all kinds of different results like that. This one's a way weird hand for the deck. So let's try to play out of this one. So the last two are, like, pretty good, you know what I mean? Like, pretty standard hands, and now this one's, a, you know, a weird one. So, um, Cyber Emergency, but still not that hand because we still open up with Core. Um, activate Core's effect. Um, um, we, so emergency, uh, we we want we want uh, you know we want a repair plant because we we have stuff that we want discarded but we don't have anything to discard them. Okay, repair plant. Um, now, uh, yeah, let's machine dupe. We need to get yeah we need to get all these monsters out on the field. We need to get cyber dragons in the graveyard asap. So let's machine dupe. Um. Yeah, you know what? With this hand, we can go out Mirage. This is this is an out Mirage kind of hand. Uh, repair plant. Galaxy Soldier. Galaxy Soldier. Spec. Search another copy of Galaxy Soldier. Yeah, with this hand, this is exactly what I would do. It truly is. Get the other Cyber Dragon out of deck. Deck then. Because we're gonna with this hand, we're gonna go into um, Skull Dread. Yeah, we're gonna go into Dread with this one and try to unbrick. Because um, you know, so if you don't get the tuner, the goal is to either go into Genius, uh, Machine Dupe, and get the tuner, or to go into Skull Dread and get the tuner. So uh, with this hand, we're going to Skull Dread and get it. Um, gonna go ahead and make this. Was that one, two? Yeah, it'll still be four. Yeah, so. Uh, detach, summon, slap an infinity on. There, that'll protect your dread. And now, uh, yeah, I guess one, two, three. Yeah, there's four. Four different names, Skuldren. And then, um, if, did I already shuffle? Did I already shuffle? Let's pretend I didn't. Either way. 
So like, I mean, just to make it like even less consistent to try to like hold me back more, you know, for this, for the purposes right now. Um, and we've already activated Hertz, Cyber Dragon. Um, uh, let's see here. Yeah, with this hand, I'd probably go for these three and put back those. It's a pretty hard decision. That was a pretty rough decision there. That still is, actually. Yeah, it still is kind of a rough decision, but let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, uh, Satellite Synchron. I'd go, yeah, I would go Satellite Synchron here. It's about it's about room, guys. It's about room, and now it's about milling, because now, now since I uh, added the guitar, I'm putting myself at risk, because if you have the guitar and you mill, if I would have milled right, uh, the uh, the mics there, you know what I'm saying, I put myself at risk, um, and I've already made dread, so I've lost my ability to shuffle the mics back. You, 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 you get it. Um, so. Now I haven't used my spec off of, of Dread yet. I will have a, a second normal summon if I activate uh, if I activate this. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's do this. Uh, spec off of a Skull Dread, okay? Use these two, fiber, fiber. Summon satellite synchron. Summon it here, sure, whatever. Once again, I'm not really worried about the zones. <laughs> Just trying to get this, uh, you know, as fast as possible for the camera, I suppose. So, uh, those two. Boom. Boom. So this is where we are. We've already activated Skull Dread this turn. We've already activated Nova's Effect to Special Summon this turn. Once again, this was a pretty weird hand. Um, I wanted I wanted to play out a really weird hand though, and we're still trucking. You know, what I mean, we're still trying to you know uh, go through this. We've we already used our one Skull Dread though. Um, since we've already used our one Skull Dread, let's go ahead and do this. Let's um. Yeah, I guess like yeah, no, uh, we'll we'll end with Durindal. That's how we'll do it. We will end with the Durindal. So let's go. Uh, let's do this. We, there's there's a couple options here, but we can go ahead and go Nuko. Um, we have four slots, so yeah, pitch Cyber Dragon, summon Mike's. Um, we would have another normal summon right now, but we don't have anything in our hand to normal summon, but we would have a second normal summon right now. Um, so we have, so we, once again, we have some options. We can uh, make, we can't make Pleiades, but we can make two uh, level eight synchros because, you know, we have threes and fives. Um, or we can overlay uh, these two, make a Dorindle, um, you know, and use that. But we will use all of these. This will technically go to the extra deck, but, uh, you know, for video purposes, just for demonstration purposes. Um, there's your synchros. <laughs> so started with five cards, ended with five cards, did some unbricking there, went through a lot of the deck, and put my tokens in the graveyard too. But, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, that was kind of, that was unbricking. That was like using all of your cards, uh, building to a skull dread, and uh, continuing to climb and ending with three negates. Once again, um, this is you're gonna be like, well, your opponent can have this. You can have they can have a hash. They can have in perm. They can have you know a valor. They can yeah. Well, of course, uh, this is showing what the deck can do. This is showing like the ways that I thought it out. This is showing the ways that um, I figured out how to make it go first. If there are no interruptions, this is how you're gonna end. Like, like you can be like, oh, they can have Nibiru. Well, they have to draw Nibiru. You know what I'm saying? Um, if they don't draw Nibiru and disrupt you, um, which most people are just playing Nibiru. You know what I mean? Most people aren't playing Ash as much. Uh, um, people are still playing in Perms and all that. But like, um, if, they have to draw those cards. They're not searchable cards. They have to draw them. They have to draw Nibiru. And um, if they don't, then this is how you're gonna end. That's, I don't really know uh, how else to say it. And uh, like, if they don't, if they don't stop you, you're gonna have your Cyber Dragon combos. It's freaking great. I keep opening up machine duplication. Like this deck is kick ass. I don't know what to tell you. I'm Cyber Dragon God. <laughs> like I am this deck's daddy. I got this deck support. Uh, I don't know what to tell you people. This is old news. I'm Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus. I may have been gone for a minute, but I'm back. <laughs> so <laughs> cyber repair plants. <laughs> You'll get a search for cyber repair plants. Um, yeah, then we're going to have, and with this hand, we're going to have, you know, uh, things that we want to discard and things that we have uh, to discard. So, um, emergency, let's get hurt. Yeah, there we go. Um, hmm, let's do, yeah, let's do this. Let's go, uh, Chanel's Synchron, or Quick Draw Synchron. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's just special summon that. How do I normally do this? So, uh, go these two. This was a pretty good hand. 
just trying to remember how I normally play this one out. So like when I'm when I'm testing it, because I played so many different test hands, I'm like, oh wait, did I figure it out this way it was optimal or that way it was optimal? Because yeah, anyways, um, this is so this is where you're going to end up being. Uh, you, there's no Cyber Dragon in the graveyard yet, but you are about to fix that. Um, activate uh, machine duplication. Use those two. Just go ahead and make Nova. Let the Nova sit. Make cross cross for technically one token because you're just going to get this back out like that and this is where we are um use these two there's a librarian have a cyber dragon in the grave now activate repair plant searching my extra deck for galaxy soldier right now because i'm too pro <laughs> galaxy soldier um so four slots yeah galaxy soldier hurts haven't activated hurts yet Search Cyber Dragon. Search Galaxy Soldier. Still five monsters on board? Yep. Cut. Um, Synchro Summon. Nuka. Um, no effect. Librarian. Draw. <laughs> Man, the freaking Reborn again! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, this deck loves me! Alright, so Reborn again. Um, yeah, that's to use, uh, yeah, this is dead, and like once, uh, no, that's not, but if I draw a light, yeah, technically what we do this, let's do, use these two, and go, uh, uh, yeah, Boral. Draw. Um, we've activated Emergency this turn, yeah, we've activated Emergency this, this turn, so that's just kind of sitting as a dead card, but that's okay. Um, activate Monster Reborn. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, dude, 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 why? Oh, why am I so good with this deck? All right, and we haven't even activated this yet. Like, what in the world? What in the freaking world? <laughs> All right, um, so uh, activate uh, the, the guitar. Let's pitch, uh, let's pitch soldier. Yeah, we'll pitch soldier so we can search the freaking core next turn. <laughs> like, that's what you do. Uh, pitch soldier. Summon this, overlay these two, and that's gonna make a, a Durindle. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's gonna make Durindle, and then a detach, summon, infinity. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and yeah, that's uh, that's that's how the deck plays. Uh, if they don't stop you, you end with an infinity, a Durindle, a savage, and a and a dragon. <laughs> Uh, once again guys, there's there, there's ways you'd be like, oh you only got the drag out, out, out too with Monster Reborn. There's other ways to, to play where you don't make a librarian and you can in that way, but I, I like to make a librarian and show off and draw cards like um, and I like to, you know, and if it works out like how it just did, that you have an extra like level five to rank five with. But also like I was explaining, um, you know, uh, if they're playing a synchro deck and you already know they're playing a synchro deck, don't play you know, don't go you know, extend and go into Durindle, just leave the librarian up and draw a hundred cards during their turn. You essentially max C them and just keep drawing yeah uh i don't know if uh i, I can end much better than that like i care i just keep like i'm drawing exactly how i want to like here now let's draw a weird one so i can show you how to play out of a weird hand <laughs> just, ooh, dude, i'm like oh it feels good it feels good this deck loves me uh you know uh, i am gonna take full credit for this deck being as cool as it is uh, because i mean credit where credit is due right <laughs> now all jokes aside uh if, if you guys uh, didn't support me playing this deck, I mean, I, I love this deck, obviously, but like having all these people just love the way you play the deck you love, it uh, it's really cool. And uh, you know, I, like, I, like I, this mat was sent to me by a fan, like, dude, this is the ultimate Cyber Dragon mat, it needs to go to the ultimate Cyber Dragon player. And I was like, thank you. like. And I still use this, uh, you know, for deck profiles to this day, obviously. Um, so let's play one more, I guess. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to top that one. I don't think I can. Yeah, I was like, I'm probably going to brick now. I was literally about to say, I'm probably going to brick now. But yeah, let's 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 play out of one more with the the, the drawing the mics. Sure, let's, let's do it. Uh, so how I would play out of this one, I would go quick draw synchron. I'm running out of battery anyways on the cameras. So quick draw synchron. Um, activate uh, quick draw synchron. Uh, special summon mandrake. Uh, satellite Synchron's effect, you special summon from the graveyard, so uh, summon the Satellite Synchron. Boom. All three monsters out of your hand just like that. Um, also, I need to uh, mill, my bad. I need to mill off of uh, 
tuning really quick. So here, let's just do a quick cut and mill. And it's like, unless it's, unless I'm milling like Hertz right now or, you know, a perform age, it's not gonna really matter much. So yeah, I got the, milled the emergency. Um, so we haven't normal summoned yet. Uh, you can normal summon right now. So we, uh, we wanna make dread and like shuffle this back is, is what we wanna do essentially. So um, I would uh, normal summon this. Um, let's go, uh, you're gonna get another satellite synchron anyway. So let's go ahead and use these two. Um, go into needle fiber. Fiber effect, summon another from deck. Do, 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 do. Where are you at? Satellite synchron, satellite synchron. Go into a link cross. Summon your tokens. We have all these monsters on board. We have plenty for, uh, you know, whatever you want to do here. Um, I would go, I mean, you can go five and then three and draw, but I'm just going to go straight for this, guys. Like what I do with these hands, I go straight for five, uh, go, uh, sorry, straight for Skull Dread. Um, I, like right here, I just go straight for Dread. That's what I do. I leave this token and I leave this and I go straight for Skull Dread. That's what I do to unbrick uh, the, these kinds of hands. And it happens every time you draw mics, just about like, and you can do, do this and unbrick like something like, even if you draw, uh, you know, mics and the guitar. Um, but moving on, uh, draw four, two, three, and four. Okay, so we have normal summoned. We have used emergency this turn. But we, uh, so we can't get into second normal summon so we did, because we didn't see guitar, but we haven't used our spec off of Dread yet. So uh, let's shuffle back you, because you've, we, we've activated this this turn. It's gonna have to be the Light Serpent. Yeah, it's gonna have to be the Light Serpent, I suppose. Because yeah, that sucks, but whatever, it is what it is. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, activate Skull Dread's effect. Spec, boom, now we have another normal summon. Um, so second normal summon, it doesn't really matter that I'm summoning to the zone and giving it attack because it's not like I got machine dupe anyways. I mean, technically, let's, let's pretend I did that. <laughs> but um, normal summon. Uh, yeah, we're adding repair plant. That's what we were adding. So add a cyber repair plant. I mean, you can add repair plants. Have we activated Hertz this turn? We have activated Hertz this turn. So we don't want to search anything. Um, cyber dragon, yeah, you know what? It'll be repair plant, repair plant for uh, Cyber Dragon, actually. It, it, it will be because we don't have a regular Cyber Dragon in the graveyard and you want to summon a Cyber Dragon off of uh, Nova like um, every time, basically. And keep in mind, this was a brick hand, so we're still going here. We've already used Dread's effect. We didn't get that second normal summon, so I guess the spec by discarding uh, Cyber Dragon, that sucks, but it is what it is. Um, go into, yeah, this hand kind of sucks now, doesn't it? Um, detach, summon, but I wanted to play a crappy one. Summon, and then I guess use these, go into Nuko, then Nuko, go into friggin' Dragite. Boom, you, you went neg, but yeah, I wanted to play a bad one. <laughs> so even like a bad hand though, uh, you're, you're able to keep going is the point, guys. Even drawing mics, drawing a bad hand, you can at least make Dread, Unbrick, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, guys, I, I got, I'm happy uh, the battery's dying. Um, I got to show off just about everything I wanted to, though. I wish I would have got to show off some more Pleiades plays, um, you know, with these test hands. But, um, uh, you know, in particular, this one's really cool. This one I was talking about earlier. Like, every now and then, and this is why I play Light Serpent, you bounce the Light Serpent back to your hand because it's not once per turn, and just use it for quick draw synchronic, boom, and then go into Dread, keep going. Um, it's really, really, really good. Um, I didn't get to do the thing where I bounced, uh, you know, uh, uh, Light Stage and search the second uh, Mandrake out of the deck and tap for next turn. But um, those are just little, um, you know, I guess like gadget plays, you know, and they little tech plays that just add a little extra to the deck, but aren't um, necessary. They add consistency to the deck. They add utility to the deck. You know, like I said, like some gadgetry uh, to the deck, but they aren't um, completely necessary. Um, they're, just, they're just bonuses, you know, um, kind of like, um, you know, Foolish Burial for, uh, it's just a bonus. You know, if you get a um, Trick Clown and have an end with an extra Trick Clown in hand for next turn or whatever, that's, that's bonus, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and I just, I keep opening up pretty good. <laughs> I mean, this isn't the best because uh, machine duplication is uh, dead, but once again, with this hand, you can easily make Skull Dread, unbrick, uh, draw um, into your core making this live and just keep going. That's kind of uh, what I've been explaining in this whole video is that um, if you don't open up with your tuner or you open up bad, just make Skull Dread, unbrick, 
or you know in the case of like cyber dragons if you open up like a regular cyber dragon hand uh, where you can make genius you know off of machine dupe and stuff um, and have a chance to search another monster yeah search a quick draw synchron get the tuner keep going you know so some in the quick draw synchron use your geni genius and quick draw synchron go in a fiber and just go just go just go um, and that's that's uh, that's what the deck does I made symphonic synchro cyber dragons and I am so proud. I'm so happy to have this deck back here physically in my hands. And um, yeah, you're probably gonna see a lot of Cyber Dragon videos coming up. Um, probably a Power Bond one. Maybe I'll make a Zulkin one next, just to, you know, put that back in and show what that deck was like, because that deck was really fun too. But yeah, this is just way more consistent. So stay tuned for more Cyber Dragon shenanigans from me. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for loving this deck with me because it makes me want to play it just forever thank you so much mm. <laughs> <laughs>